Hello everybody, God bless you. The 27th of August, 2020. Today's video, not gonna be long. I'm on my way to, I just left cutting grass and I got other grass to cut, so I don't have a lot of time. I wanna talk about what's happening in America, especially in Kenosha and, and what's been going on in Portland. I've said this before, uh, my friends, this is not a conservative versus Republican thing. This is not a left versus right. This is not even a Democrat versus Republican. This is truly biblical good versus evil. It truly, truly is. When you see the, um, the, the hatred that's on these people's faces that come on camera, that they, they, they just spew profanity. They, they, they just, you know, they, they, you can just feel the hate, you know, pouring out of their body towards anyone, anyone that doesn't think exactly like they do. And I find it ironic that they are supposed to be the party of tolerance, but that's the last thing that they are. You've seen what was said about uh, our wonderful first lady being an illegal immigrant, she can't speak English, some such nasty things. The woman can speak five languages, and I can guarantee you the ones that are making fun of her accent can't even speak English properly. And it's sad. It really is sad we got to this point. Now, they can blame it on Donald Trump all they want, but they've been like this all along. They've been like this all along. It was under the Obama administration where the separation of races really started heating up they started fueling that fire and now it's come to a head now you have a choice to make if you believe in god and you believe in jesus christ and you've accepted christ you have a choice to make today you can either side with the ones that are out there looting burning rip snorting and tearing and acting like they are the peaceful party and uh like they are the ones that are uh, you know, the ones that are in the right. I, I remember Joe Biden saying the other night that uh, they're the party of light. Well, I know the Bible says even Satan can come as an angel of light. That's how deceitful the devil is. And the devil has all these people fooled. He does. And these people wanting socialism and communism, that is actually a godless form of governing. I made a statement the other night in a discussion that if you looked at any nation that switched over to socialism and or communism, what was one of the first things, even Nazi Germany, what was one of the first things they did? They got rid of the church. They closed the churches. They burned the churches in the synagogues. Uh, they, they, they pushed down on Christianity as hard as they possibly could they didn't want it in their in their nation and if you look at that it's the truth and what happened to every one of them nations eventually they crumbled and fell russia all of them the whole eastern bloc they all fell they all fell you cannot push on god you cannot push back against god i should say eventually god's going to wipe his hands of that country and say enough I'm taking my hand off of it. What will be, will be. And they'll destroy each other. And that's what's happening in this nation. I seen a, uh, an old, old interview done back in the 60s from, I believe it was 1967. It was a black and white uh, interview with a defector from the Soviet Union. And at that time, you know, uh, the Soviet Union was hardcore communist. We were in the middle of the Cold War. We were mired in Vietnam. Uh, and I remember he said that America is only one generation away from losing their democracy, from losing their capitalism. They're one generation away. And I haven't forgot what he said because we're seeing it right now. We're seeing these people desecrating the American flag. We're seeing them toppling crosses. We're seeing them toppling statues of Christ. We're seeing this. Okay, even though the media doesn't want to report on it, all you got to do is go to YouTube and you'll see people out on the street videoing this stuff. I've seen more statues of Christ toppled and more crosses burned, and I'm not talking about the KKK kind of burning. I'm talking about people just 
bloodlust and a, and a, and a hateful, you know, uh, uh, a daze, just just crazed, crazed rabid dogs, just just out for blood. It, it, it's unbelievable. And I never forgot one generation away, and now we've got the millennial generation that's been brainwashed. Their minds have been poisoned into thinking, you know, uh, capitalism is a failed system. Democracy is a failed system. Communism, they call it socialism. Communism is the only way to go. Even Black Lives Matter, their, their leaders outright in the open say they're Marxists. They, have, they don't hide it. They have no qualms about that. They do not hide it whatsoever. And uh, I find it uh, ironic that these groups supposedly start to combat racism. And they're some of the biggest haters that's in the United States of America. They are some of the biggest haters that's in the United States of America. The, the left, this is how good of a job. Now, 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 just bear with me real quick. This is how good of a job these teachers and these professors have done on students, okay? They actually have white people that follow that, that uh, ideology. They actually have them being ashamed of the skin color that they were born with. They're actually ashamed to be white. I mean, that, I find that utterly amazing. And I also find out, you know, God made everybody in His image. The color does not matter. But you're not going to get through to these people like that. You're just not going to. When their minds are so poisoned with this, with this virus, it's a virus itself. It, it, it's only going it, to, it's going to take the Lord Jesus Christ to remove those things from their mind. It truly, truly is. Because psychiatrists, psychologists, all of that, you know what? Jesus can heal a mind just like he can heal a body in a snap of a finger. I've seen it. I've truly, truly seen it. I've, I've given plenty of examples on my channel as I said a few minutes back, you got a choice to make, my friends. You have a choice. You really, really do. Remember, God gave man, you know, free will. You got a choice. You don't have to believe in God. You don't have to believe that even Jesus walked this earth. You don't even have to believe in the Bible. That that's completely your free choice. That's your free will to do what you want. God didn't make us robots. But the downside to that is when you pass away, and you will, because we all do, and you will stand before God because we all will, there is going to be no, I'm sorry, I did not know, I was not informed, there's no going to be giving that as an excuse, it's not going to work, it's not going to work, and I don't want to see anybody stand before the Lord and have to be cast into hell, I'm serious, and I don't know any real Christian that would. And if they say they want somebody in hell, then they're not a true Christian at all. At all. Because Jesus is love. I mean, and so is God, our, our creator. But he's also a God of vengeance. And people forget that part. They, they, they just want to tout on the love, which is wonderful. But they forget he's a God of, of vengeance and he's a jealous God. And a lot of people don't put that. You know, they just focus in on that love, which is good. But they also got to realize that God's not going to tolerate the nonsense that's going on in this country. He's not. So you have a choice. You can go with the crowd. As they say, you can go with the flow. You can, you know, you can badmouth people. You can uh, say because you don't believe the way we do, you're a racist, you're a Nazi. You can go that path. You can go that path all you want. But I promise you one thing. And this I can promise, because I've seen this too. The hatred is going to eat you up. It's going to eat you up and devour you. And then it's just going to spit you out, and you ain't going to be nothing but an empty husk is all you're going to be. But with Jesus, that love comes in your heart, and that hate dissipates. It's gone. I'm not saying you're a perfect person, but I tell you what, accepting Christ... There's nothing better on this earth. There's nothing better. Nothing. So, you need to make a choice. And it really, as I said, it's not Republican, Democrat. It's not. It's good versus evil. And as I've said before, 
I like to quote Isaiah 5.20. Woe unto them that call good evil and evil good, that see darkness for light and light for darkness, that taste bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. That is what we are up against. People that see good as evil. They truly do. They truly do. And these people, as I said earlier, like Nancy Pelosi and all these other ones that claim to be Christian and they vehemently support the murdering of God's innocent babies in the womb and now they're pushing for afterbirth abortion. I pray they find God for real and do not stand in front of him with that on their heart because they will not like what happens. That's all I got for you. God bless each and every one of you. Listen, have a good day. Please be safe. And if you're in that part of the country, be safe, okay? If you can leave, leave. Just be safe. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Subscribe, hit the like button, all that good stuff. Bye-bye.